real sound dampening shot. It is 9.38 and 84 degrees still in Kentucky. So I'm going to try to take some of this apart tonight and then start early in the morning before it gets super hot. I'm already sweating. So we're going to try to clear some of this out. Then wipe it down. Yeah, really, I've never done this before, so I'm not sure that's going to work. I'm going to remove my subwoofer, get this box of stuff out of here, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so everything is out. It's kind of hard to see. It's nighttime, I guess. Everything out, and then I'm going to remove this mat. Now the carpet's out. This guy comes up like this. So I need to remove this guy. Just pulls right out. I haven't unscrewed or undone anything. Remember to watch out for that drain plug when I reseal it. I need to unscrew these. This carpet will come out once I unscrew these. This one, this one, this one, this one. So there's four of these to take out. And this carpet will just pull off as well. Alright, now to get these out, you need a T30 Torx bit. Same thing with this one. Also not tight. It's probably better with some power tools. These were more than hand tight, just slightly more than hand tight. Really easy. I just took these seats out recently to put in the rear seat recline kit, and that really sucked. So it's good to see that these bolts are not so brutal to take out. Especially considering how hard it is. Alright, so it's the next day. 82 degrees. Pulled in the shade, so maybe it won't be terrible. Uh, I watched the video, and it seems like this thing just pulls forward. Look at all these little slots. So let's try that. And it does. It's just held in by these little nubs, apparently. So that was pretty easy. Get this out of the way. And to do this like professionally, you'd want to take all your seats out and all the carpet and stuff. I'm getting bigger out by now, I'm not professional. And I took these seats out for the rear seat recline kit and that was a nightmare. So I don't plan on taking the rear seats out. And I also don't know how much, 40, I have 40 square feet of sound damping material and I don't know how much that will cover. So. I'm going to do back here first, that's where the sub sits, and it should be easier. 
and I'll probably do the front two seats. And if I have any last, then I'll do the back seats. I don't know if 40 square feet's enough or not, or anything really, so. Alright. So now I'm going to try to get this carpet out. With this thing on, it should just pull right up. Uh, I'm going to lean this seat down. Alright, man, I said you just had to work. I watched a video on this and said you just had to kind of work this out, but in this worst case scenario, I can just pull it up and do that. All that dirt and stuff right here. That's weird. And these side carpets, I think, just pull off as well. These plastic things, I don't know how to get them off. Alright, so I'm just going to try to pull on the carpet and see if I can figure out. Alright, yeah, so if you lean this forward, this is the passenger side, uh, the rear driver's side seat. If you lean it forward, you can reach your hand in here and just kind of untuck this guy. And there you go, that just pops, <coughs> pops right out pretty good. So we're going to try to do that with this side as well. So we'll leave it up a little bit. You should see in here. There we go. whole thing came right out. So that was pretty easy. See how this one comes out. It also just pulls right out. Little to no force. This is a Velcro there. I see. Okay, so this one's a little tucked in. This is the same 3 8 or the T30. Sorry, my racks is a 3 8. Same T30. You got one over here, too. Easy to get out. Alright, well, that taken out. Yeah, this thing comes out a lot easier. Yeah, maybe easier at one or two things. So you got these clips in there. That one just didn't want to come out. So go in just fine with this top guy. This guy up here was a problem. A little bit padding in here, I guess. And you can see. What we got here, we got a little carpet there. It's already split, no need to cut anything. Probably from the from this guy. Oh, well, that's neat. So it does have a stick on there telling you which side it goes on. Left hand. I don't know what that means. But it'll help me remember where to put these things when I put it all back together. Alright, so I got this whole side off. This little plastic thing here. I have no idea what it does. I'm not gonna mess with it though. Hopefully, I don't even wiggle it. I'm not gonna take that seat belt off. I might try to put some Tessa tape around those wires or some kind of. That's what that guy on the car audio fabrication did. He wrapped all these wires up. 
and over here, still need to get this carpet off. So, hopefully, this guy comes undone easier than the last one. Well, I pulled and this thing came off. Don't know where that goes. Oh, I'm sitting right there, I guess. So maybe this is supposed to come off. Maybe I'm supposed to undo a screw over here. Maybe I'm supposed to undo that to get that back panel off. I'm going to get this carpet out and see. Alright, this appears to be a 10 millimeter, so don't boot force that off. Usually boot force is always the way to go, but apparently not this time. Alright, so this guy comes off 10 millimeter. Yeah, now this thing comes right out, so... Yeah, so hopefully I didn't break that. Worst case scenario, I can order a new one. This little thing popped in here. Say move on somewhere else. There are some plugs back here. I assume that's just pre wired in case you have the in case you have the Alpine system, which I don't. It's pretty neat though, huh? Alright, so now I'm gonna try to clean this stem. I need to get this carpet out. Get this carpet out. You need to pull. Same as the other side, this little velcro it comes right off. And it also has a sticker telling you it's the right hand side. So now you can see all this little sand looking stuff. I don't know what that is. I actually did have sand back here one time. Bags of sand, maybe one of them leaked. Maybe it's just dirt, I don't know. So I'm gonna clean this up. I bought some spray from Home Depot. Probably just use regular old <laughs> rubbing alcohol and water mixture. And I'm gonna try to just do flat sections and then tuck little sections over there and then some over here. I say you really don't need to cover the whole thing, but you should just do certain little squares where it's more flex, but I don't know where that's at, so I'm just gonna cover the whole thing. And I gotta remember to avoid these holes. And these areas here, of course, and then this drain plug. So, probably, I don't know. I'm gonna start cleaning and then we'll take another look. Alright, so I got some paper towels. I got some Tessa tape from Amazon. It's like soft tape. And I got this cleaner stuff from Home Depot. I got these big scissors. I got these big scissors. Probably overkill, overkill but they look cool. I figured they'll be easy to use when I'm wearing gloves with big handles. And I got this blade. And I got a second stuff at this from Amazon. Nine feet of Overkill Pro. I'm going to use this stuff to wrap up wires like these. And we 
give it a shot. I don't know how well I'm going to do with that. But. And any wires I see in the front, of course. This knife is pretty cool. It's kind of like a switch. It's like a pocket knife, right? Not a switch blade. It would be cool if it was. So it won't come out unless you push that. And it also has this protector so you don't hurt yourself. Probably still don't hurt myself. But, cool on there. Example, we'll just put that right off. Put that right off. Super easy. Almost no pressure. Same thing here. Just kind of opens up so you can see what this is. This is also, this is a second skin to brain. This stuff would be called MOE, which is to mass loading vinyl. So you're gonna put the sound dampening stuff that I have already. On the bottom. They call that C L D or C L B or something. And then you put this on top of it. For now. I just bought a little section of this. Nice and squishy. I'm just gonna use that to wrap up wires. So let's see, this is also soft, so it works like tape, but then it doesn't make any noise. I guess I don't know. All the installer guys on YouTube use this stuff. Test it. Tape. It was relatively cheap for a five pack on Amazon. So I said, what the heck? Okay. Um, remember, this is for my subwoofer. You probably won't have that in yours. And I'm going to remove that one, so I'm not going to test the tape it. So I'm going to move it to the NBX subwoofer. Also, don't buy one that's already broken. Cleaning is not my forte. That's why I have kids and they're also bad at it. So. <laughs> hindsight, I probably should have vacuumed this first. So I am going to vacuum. I got this extension cord from Amazon. It's like 50 feet for like 10 bucks. It's pretty good. And I made my little vacuum. It's also came from Amazon, but you probably already got a vacuum. As I was doing this and sweating like crazy, uh, I was thinking how much it's going to suck because I'll need that extension cord for the heat gun I have because it's better to heat up the sound dampening material. And I didn't think about it until just now. I'm going to lay that out in the sun so it warms, out, warms up some and should be more malleable. Here's my trunk kit. Sitting in the hot sun. Here's my heat gun. That's what it feels like outside here right now. Also, you probably figured this out, but get all your stuff out ready before you start. So I've made about 20 trips inside the house already. Hey, right, now back to back, Jimmy. And I got wiped down. Maybe it could be better, maybe it couldn't. But uh, as good as I'm going to do it. Here's something to point out, though. The dealer installed my brand motion backup camera. Look, this wire is just hanging. I'm gonna try to tie it up into here some so it doesn't, you know, in theory, that causes noise. Now I'm gonna try to figure out these wires. So I got this little kit from Amazon. I've used this in some other videos. Ideally, you wanna use something like this to pry those little sticky nuts in. It's at a terrible angle. I've already broken some stuff today, so I'm uh, trying to be more careful with other things. It's 
still need a brute force. And that hurt like hell when I hit this nut. So that one came out better. Like something broke. This is probably overkill, but Same one. Alright, so don't take this one out because it clearly breaks. And the rest of them pop out just pretty fine. Alright, so that's as far as I'm going to go. Alright, back in the hospital. And I'm going to put the gloves on. I would have been cut myself, but this would have been here to protect my hand from being banged up. Got these from Home Depot, they're cut proof gloves. So I'm gonna start cutting some stuff. And I don't want to cut myself. I'm gonna try to cover everything I can. Put it back here. scraps I'll save for something. I might go find something to use Wrap this up like this. Now this won't be moving around. Not this long. This is where you should be measuring stuff. But not real good at measuring stuff. very long with my liberal cutting. I don't know how hesitation I work with these gloves, but I don't want to keep taking mine off, so we're going to give it a shot. So, it'd be easier to tie wrap them, but then of course we have plastic banging around. I don't take my top off. So, this isn't going to bother me. If you take your hard top off, it may be a problem.
little bit started. Just take this around. Like this. but it's noise regardless. Let's go here to here. Oh, I'm gonna go here to here. Let's go here to here. Let's go here to here. Let's go here to Oh, it's this little mess up I can put it under my knee. So you see, I should still have room to plug that in. I need a little section right through here. Really, two of my mess ups can do, but that section through here. Something these are probably the same distance between all of these, so if I get one of these right, I can use this template. So, let's try this. Alright, I went ahead and cut out about four of these. Tear it up like I tore up the last one. And this is the guy hurt. Ah, uh, man, I meant to put these in here. Okay, so I made a mistake. First time ever. But I forgot to put this guy in here. So we do this one. I'm not going to tie it or anything. I'm just going to use it to hold. 
Let the old sounds can hold it. So now I have it taped in there. Ready to got one more section to go. This is, you may not have this if you don't have a camera or if they tied it up properly. Here's my camera line. So I'm just going to wrap it up into here again. Some people take their seatbelt out when they're doing this. That seemed like way more work than I wanted to put into this. I have two guiding philosophies in my brain. I was a young man. Elementary school, maybe third grade. I had a teacher named Miss Mattingly. Probably dead by now. She said something that resonated with me. I don't know why, because I didn't care anything about teachers at that time. She said, anything you put your name on can be your best work. I'm sure lots of teachers say it. She was the first one I heard say it. And it resonated with me for some reason. If I'm going to put my name on it, it needs to be great work. And then my father was kind of a perfectionist with some things and then eventually he'd get frustrated and he'd say oh, that's good enough for hardened birds you might do it so that's kind of where I'm at too like, well, I'm going to do my best effort and I'll get fed up and say oh, that's good enough for this place right, so that's one of my so this one here is too tight I can't so I'm going to have to do this separate. I'm going to wrap a separate one around this one. They did put some loom on it, which is good. Usually my son does too trippy, but he said, why didn't they put this on the rest? And I said, because they did a shitty job. And they just did it to here, which is why I'm doing this. My I do a lot of this stuff myself, so at least if I do a shitty job, I know who's to blame. Instead of me paying someone else to do a shitty job. Same scenario here. I'll have to split it out some more. As I was doing this, I was thinking it'd be helpful if I measured this first and then I could post that in this video. But then I'm already this far and I don't feel like going to get in my measuring tool. So. so I'm not going to do that. But I'll give you a pro tip measure this before you cut it and then make templates. Because most of these are the same. And these two are the same as the other side. These three, this is, so six of these. But this one here is a little bit longer, and so is the one on this side. All right, so got a lot of it done so far. This part was probably not so great. Or this part, but I'm getting really tired doing this. This part looks pretty good. And I just gotta hope that thing fits back over it. I'm gonna do those wires there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start applying stuff to the floor here. Right now, I got all this done to here, all the way down to this little dub guy. I'll do these later. Uh, I still gotta do that side. Well, this is where it's supposed to go. I can probably fit that wire. I don't know. It's kind of snug. I'm just gonna do that wire separate. Alright, I've got all those done right here. All I can think of. Managed to cut myself. Uh, use a whole roll of tester tape and lose my sunglasses. So, doing pretty good. But yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and start. Probably going to lay a flat piece across here. Let's we'll see how that goes. Alright, so now I got everything filled out. Got my heat gun, got my sound dampening material, and my little roller guy. So, I'll try to put this far over here in the can. 
Gotcha. She's probably wearing long sleeves, but it's really too hot, so. do is just peel this back so it will stick a little bit. started a little bit.
not going as designed. That's my problem. My NBX problem. So me. Well, I've never installed one before, so I don't know. I should do better than this. One. Definitely cranking out some heat. I shouldn't have tried to use a big giant sheet. This would have gone better if I just cut little sections out. about this is enjoyable. I'm gonna go out and live here because I did not do a good job with this first piece. Attempt. So I'll cut this 
one. Go here. Instead of trying to make a hole, it didn't work very well. Here, I'm gonna try to put over this little part. Really don't know if you're supposed to overlap this stuff or not, but seems like a good spot for it. Yeah, so there's a lot of wrinkles in there. I don't know if that matters, but. Scrap here. Very cut. It's easier to work with in smaller strips, so I'm trying to cut this guy. Just kind of patch this hole together. Okay. 
smaller pieces clearly come apart easier. Heat gun stays pretty hot. So don't touch it. In case you were like, should not touch a heat gun? Answer is no. Don't touch it. Cut this to shape. You can tell I did not do a great job. It's never very good at wrapping Christmas presents. Same kind of fun. I haven't done very well just pulling a little piece and getting started, so I must stick to pulling the whole thing off. All the pros just pull up a little bit and get it started and then work it in there, but at least you haven't figured it out. Not a pro.
and Dale the heat made a big difference because it was kind of popping here. Melted it way down. Cut some of this back off so I could try to get a little more square action here. Milling this together, I can go on this and getting ready to have a heat stroke. I decided that's Mark from Car Audio Fabrication YouTube channel is a super genius. He got all these in. I mean, he didn't film his process necessarily, but he had it all lined up nice and neat, and everything looked like the same. All the logos were in the same direction. Doing that. I am getting this black stuff under my thumb now, which is great. So, took a little break, uh, get some lunch, Uber Eats, uh, I've done a decent amount of progress here, almost done with this first set. So one box of this NBX kit is more than enough for this back area. Well, I say that but I'm not done yet, so. Alright, so now I'm still just trying to piecemeal this thing in here. Let's see where all my sweat went in there, so it's a good job I like that off real good. So, I'm going to stop recording for a little bit. Alright, I still got two sheets. So I've used three sheets so far. There's five in a box. I've got the majority of this done. So there's a very non-scientific demonstration. This should be quiet. Uh, it has a more dead sound to it. So I cut 
Cut this little piece. I'm gonna try to go right to there, to there. You can see his little nub guys here. So, I'm trying to press in on him. I'm gonna cut a little square out. This knife not like a whole lot. So, most of the day here doing this. Still got this stuff to do. And a couple spots. Very annoying. It's very tedious. And. Luckily, the sun went down, so it's not as hot. It's still what I would call super unpleasant. So this part here sucked pretty hard. Getting down in this area, around these seat belts. It's easier, I'm sure, if you take the seats out. But I took the seats out to put in that recline kit, and it was horrible. So I'm never doing that again. Mainly this guy here. Tell in this video, there's a little spacer under there. And if I would do all this at once, if I had a garage and I could spend like three days taking my Jeep apart, then maybe that's just the way to go. But for now, this is what we accomplished. I've used all five sheets and I've started on the sixth sheet, so from the second trunk kit. So, I think I've done about as best I'm going to do at this point. I could get a couple more sections here, I guess, but I'm pretty exhausted. And I, don't, I clearly don't have enough to hold Jeep, so. It's going to do maybe the front seat after this. But it's also getting late on me, so I better go ahead and get this back together. Alright, so now we put these guys back in their home.
Yeah. There's that back up. Basically, I left some stuff back there, but. That's that. So I had to redo my camera wire. Don't, it wouldn't fit in that bundle there. Alright, so. Now it's 6.58. I started this probably around 10 a.m. This is all I got done. So. The moral of the story is. This is why you pay people to do this kind of stuff. But. I ain't glad I did it. It sucked. I'm not looking forward to doing the front of the Jeep, but I did it. Alright, <laughs> now I gotta start getting this carpet back in place. I hope everything fits with all the new additions. Just slides in. See those holes line up. Alright, so this one is the left hand side. I'm just gonna remember how this thing went back on. So, this is a little bit of a tight fit with all that tape on there, I that foam stuff on there. I'm tucking in some more in a minute. So I think that's about right. I'm sitting on this one so it's screwed up a little bit, but you can see where it should fit around the seat belt. This piece should be the easiest. It should just fit right in there. Fits. 
man. I'm going to go ahead and screw those back in. these back in it's pretty good so far and I put my side panels back in this may not be so easy alright this one's gonna be a little trippy this part here Holes line up. I just need to get that guy. Push that carpet up. Tuck it in some more. Push it back. That guy on there like this. Get this guy up. camera wire was a little too thick. So this one here. Alright, so I got this one in here. Want that little guy snap there. And you should line up just right now it's really good here I really didn't pay attention to what it looked like beforehand so I don't know if that looks bad or not I'm gonna have to go look at my brother-in-law sheet to see how it's supposed to be I gotta get these in I'm gonna need two hands there you can see I got that one I just need to do this one and it seems to be lined up just right I just gotta put this piece back on. I got that screwed down, that screwed down. This just slides around the back and snaps together. Make sure you get this piece up above it. Make sure that's out of the way. Side and I already broke this piece up, so it's probably not gonna be great. That's the way I broke this thing off by just using brute force. Still have this snap on and these holes to hold it in place here, so I'm gonna hope it just works.
plant. I'm just gonna screw this on like it's supposed to go. Still got this guy and this guy to snap on here and here, so hoping it's just gonna magically work. This guy back on should be in business. Doesn't seem loose or anything. Hey, I need two hands, but that's a really simple process. Snapping that guy in. Let me pull this down. Do the front piece first. So now it screws this in. Right, let's kind of get this one on. Just about done. So I got this back in. Carpet's a little bunchy, but that's probably more my inability to put it in properly. These guys will just slide right in there. Alright, let's get my garbage out of here. subwoofer and I'm good so there we go I'm gonna have to try it out see if I notice any difference it's only I need to fix that carpet there a little bit but pretty much done my battery's about to die and I'm about to have a huge purple time 753 so I think I started at 10 a.m. so and I did a little bit last night, so this really sucks.